There may be many kinds of reasons you might want to take a picture of your screen, as you would with, a, with an old-fashioned camera. Take a picture of the screen for certain purposes, uh, instructional purposes, usually. That can be called screen capture, or it's also known as print screen, which is the name of the key we use. It takes a snapshot of the computer screen in a certain configuration, it does the whole screen. Distinguish that from a snip, which does only part of a window. That's a different video. You could use it for in situations where you're the teacher or where you're the student proving to the teacher that you can do a certain task. Now, the regular print screen is up here in the upper right-hand corner of the keyboard, print screen key, and it will take a snapshot of the current screen. But if you have multiple monitors like I do, I have three monitors attached, it's handy too, let me tell you, uh, then, then it kind of makes a mess. So in that case, what you do is use Alt Print Screen, and you can see down here in the lower left-hand corner where you have Alt and then Print Screen up there. Alt Print Screen takes only the current window. That you could also do that if you had one window open on top of another window, like a dialog box. You could use Alt Print Screen to just get that one current window. Now, if you're on a laptop, perhaps you have to check. Perhaps your print screen key is blue. Now, I know you can't read that, but you can see that it's blue. Okay. If yours is blue, then you have to use this function key down in the front left side of the keyboard. So it would be function print screen, but only if it's blue. And then on a Mac, you can do command shift number three. So those are four different ways to do it. What do you do with it once you make it? You see nothing. Once you do the print screen, you see nothing. Then you have to paste it somewhere. You could put it in a Word document. You could put it in an Excel spreadsheet, a PowerPoint slide, put it in Paint, save it as a file. You know, there are lots of things you could do with it. So let me show you an example then here. I'm out. Let's pretend that I have to prove to the teacher that I can do some transition. So I'll choose a push transition. I don't know if I've messed up my screen now, though. A push transition and set it for three seconds. Over here on the right-hand side, I'm setting it for three seconds. Pretend. Okay? So now what I'm going to do, actually delete the one that I had just tried, um, go down here and insert a new blank slide. And then once I've made my alt print screen that I have to do, I can come here and right click paste and it's pretty big so I'm going to right click on it and go down to size and position and I'll make it here on the right hand side maybe 70 percent if you're using an older version of PowerPoint you wouldn't get this pane you would just get numbers and you can you can see there and fill it in so now I can drag this into the slide and I have proven that I can do the transition so that's the way a print screen works. You should play with it. It's lots of fun.